Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. This is Running On Empty Food Review. I am your host, the Report of the Week, and welcome to this newest installment, newest edition, newest review. Yeah, here we are. Here we are, you know, it's, um... I think largely, you know, regardless of what your views are, I think we could all agree that, at least here in the United States, uh, it's a hectic week. It's a hectic week, but no matter what, Popeyes is entering the game by surprise, and they're saying, no matter what happens, we got some new shrimp that you can snack on. So, uh, they're really, they're making a move. They're making a, uh, a real power move right there. Yeah, Popeyes has a new item out, though. Uh, they are releasing a new batch of infamous shrimp uh, of course the uh the shrimp that you know i have this existing love-hate relationship with uh that sometimes i'll think they're the best thing ever and sometimes i'll despise them and uh i mean they can be hit or miss at times but popeyes you know they still fingers crossed that these will be good um but this is a new item that they have out this is called the twisty wicked shrimp i guess isn't isn't that like a new england term when they say that's that's wicked right wicked Wicked Shrimp. I would assume that they call them the Wicked... Twisty Wicked Shrimp. I assume that Wicked is used in the, um... You know, as a positive term. That's Wicked Good, you know? it's That's that's Wicked Cool, right? Rather than saying that these shrimp are just, like, Wicked, you know? Like, the, the Wicked Witch, you know? That these are evil shrimp. Um, but maybe that's, that's the case. Maybe they are evil shrimp. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how the shrimp were. Uh, before they wound up at Popeyes. So they might be good behaved shrimp, they might not be, we really don't know until we try them. Uh, now regardless of, you know, the shrimp's temperament, here's what we know about them for sure. The twisty wicked shrimp uh, come with a blend of, you know, it's all in the seasoning this time around. Uh, they're breaded, right, they're crispy, and in that breading is salt, pepper, onion, garlic, cayenne pepper sriracha the big emphasis here with these shrimp is that they're going to be a little spicy but there's going to be garlic as well it's going to be like maybe hot garlic in a sense um where again there's going to be that spice there's going to be garlic as well and they serve it uh with a new smoky garlic tartar sauce on the side so garlic is the emphasis here garlic a little bit of spice on these shrimp uh, it's a $5 meal deal. You can get the box of the shrimp, which I think like 14 or so come in. You get a side, and you get the biscuit, as they say. Uh, for the price of $5, I got the uh, meal deal. That's what we have. So far, um, my mouth is doing a bit better. You know, silver covering. There's still some pain from the operation and everything. Um, but I could talk much more fluidly now. But I still can't eat properly. I have to eat on the other side of my mouth still. Um, but I'm glad I can kind of get the words out a bit a bit smoother than, than in the past, which is good, which is very good. Um, before we get into the review real quick, uh, I just want to uh, promote this just because it, you know, got to let everyone know it exists. In addition to this YouTube channel, I also do a podcast and a radio show. Uh, the radio show I do three times a week, three hours of content every single week. Um, it goes out online, it also goes out on AM radio stations and shortwave radio stations. The show needs your help to survive, to continue, and to reach people all around the world, as it does. If you do want to help keep this show going and keep it on the air, uh, please consider supporting it at patreon.com slash the report of the week. Again, patreon.com slash the report of the week. I can't host the shows uh, online due to some, you know, just due to some copyright issues and different requirements, etc., but you can find them uh, at Patreon where I am able to host them. So you could access that content there, and it'll help keep that going. It's something to consider if it's if it's of interest to you. You have to let everyone know something exists, or else, you know, what's the point? You gotta just let it know it's out there. You gotta let everyone know it's out there. Here are the shrimp in the shrimp box. Um, you can see this close-up view right now. That, you know, they are on the crispy side. Well-breaded. I would assume well-seasoned as well. But they have almost like an orange hue. Not quite as orange as the box, but you can definitely see. And there I am with them, you know, kind of trying to get the good shot right there. But 
You can see they have that orange type color. You can see the biscuit in there. That is not actually um, a gibbous moon, but that is a that is a biscuit. Uh, I guess that'd be more of a full moon. And there's your shrimp up close and personal. We got some fries as the side, but you know, crispy shrimp, very crispy. And then we also have the sauce as well, which is interesting. Usually I thought they just put it in its own little thing, but they put it in a little container this time. Usually it comes in its own prepackaged contraption, so to speak. So I'm gonna be trying this out now. The one thing, and I, I hope, I mean, maybe later in the video I'll just do it for the fun of it, um, but because this is so crispy, as you can see, uh, I really, really have to be careful when I eat this because I still have a surgical dressing and everything on this side of my mouth. So I'm going to pause the camera while I eat because I just don't want to rush it and accidentally bite down where I'm not supposed to and really screw everything up really bad. So I'm going to pause the camera, I'm going to try it, and we're going to see how good uh, these shrimp are. All right. So, without further ado, it is the Twisty Wicked Shrimp from Popeyes going in. Are they wicked good? Let's find out. All right, coming back from a uh, time jump, you can see uh, the shrimp are smaller. You know, they definitely, look, it's even having trouble focusing on the shrimp. There we go, though, for a little bit of a close-up there. Uh, you can see there's not a ton of meat. Very crispy, though, for what they are. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if you would... I've heard the term popcorn shrimp used before, though that just might be a made-up term, you know, that one of the establishments will come up with. Uh, so far, so good. These are very crispy shrimp, um, so I had to be careful eating them. But one thing that is uh, worth mentioning is that they weren't, you know, it wasn't really a detriment. And I know it's not going to be uh, to you when you eat the shrimp, you know, they're going to be crunchy. They're going to be crispy. But then once you make it past the breading, it's really soft on the inside. Um, really soft, really tender. And I always like that about their shrimp, that you get this little bit of a balance. You get a crunch on the inside, but they're just so tender on the inside. Uh, crunch on the outside, tender on the inside. That's what we're trying to say. Um, it's all in the breading. It's all in the breading for sure. What I like is that you get this little bit of a spice. Not much. I didn't even need any water. It's not any sort of like real overwhelmingly uh, hot spiciness that's in the shrimp. But it's just enough, just enough from those, um, from the cayenne pepper that it's noticeable, it's there, get away you fly. But then what really comes your way is the garlic. You get the garlic that's in that, that breading and you really taste it. And the garlic, I don't know, it just, it just works. It just works. It's not overwhelming. Garlic can be very potent. A lot of the time they try to do garlic this, garlic that, and it just gets too much. It just gets annoying. Your breath stinks. Um, but in this case, it's like the perfect balance. It's like the perfect balance of some spice. Uh, you can taste even some of the pepper. A little bit of saltiness, but not overwhelmingly. I can't really taste the onion, but the spiciness and the garlic is definitely there. Uh, all balanced in very nicely with the crunch. And then the uh, tenderness of the shrimp itself. Now, you know, you might be saying, I want to live on the edge a little bit. I want to go all out. Well, you can. Um, because you could also have smoky garlic tartar sauce as well so we're just gonna we're just gonna take that leap right now and you better believe it when i opened up that little that little receptacle this wave of garlic just hit me i'm like oh wow this is this is potent stuff right here so you can see there it is and uh, i'll humor you if you want uh, i will take a bite and then i'll pause it a little bit so let's try this out I don't think I needed to pause it up, but you see how slow I had to chew there? That's why, I mean, the video will take forever. I know I stretch things out a lot usually, but it would just be too much. Speaking of too much, uh, I gotta tell you this right now. Some of you might like the smoky, um, the smoky garlic tartar sauce. I'm not really feeling it. I am not. Remember how I was just saying before I tried it that garlic can really be overwhelming? Uh, I think in this instance it kind of is there's already garlic in the shrimp to begin with. And I don't know, I just think it's like the right quantity 
that's in the shrimp. It just works. It works very well with everything that's there. Uh, now, maybe if you're a real garlic fanatic, you know, you want more. I'd say, you know, why not? It comes with it anyway. Just get it and, and try it for yourself. But thing is, for me with the sauce, it's like too over the top. It's like too garlicky now. And I don't know. It's just like you're eating not a whole clove of garlic, but it sure it sure feels like it. It's just too garlicky. Um, it actually just drowns out the really, really nice flavor and balance that the shrimp already has. And now it's just like, all right, I'm eating tons of garlic and that's it. So, I mean, if you really like it, that's one thing, but I think in general, uh, the garlic sauce is actually a little overwhelming. It's a little too much, but it comes with it and it's not already on it. It's purely optional, but uh, I think that's a little overwhelming. But overall, the shrimp as they are are good. I'm a fan of them. Uh, I like them. And yeah, Popeyes, you know, there was that one time where I tried them and they were really, really bad. I think they've learned from their mistakes. They have seen the error of their ways. And um, I think they've really, they've really rectified those issues. So, all things considered, out of 10, what am I going to be rating the, uh, what do they call it? The twisty, wicked shrimp from Popeyes. Um, you know, I'm going to have to give it an 8.25 out of 10. 8.25 out of 10. Um, because again, they're pretty good for what they are. By no means are they perfect, but I think they really have a nice balance down, and I think it's an enjoyable item, all things considered. So that's what I have for you. Good value, too. $5 meal deal. And uh, with that, that's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. On one final, final, final note, if anyone out there is a shortwave radio listener, um, my broadcast to North America, I do it uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evening at the time of 9 p.m. Eastern. It used to be at 10 p.m. Eastern, but I moved it an hour later. Uh, now it airs at 9 p.m. Eastern, my show does, every Thursday, Friday, Saturday evening on 5850 kilohertz. That's 5850 kilohertz. That's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Be safe and be healthy wherever you are, and I wish you all the best. Until next time, take care.